Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the greatest nation on Earth, America. So, last time we had a little spat with Mexico in which they gave us rightful American clay. So, oh, there's a lot of Irish in Utah. Wow, in Moab. That's cool. Yes, yes, please, please give me all sorts of immigrants, which I'm literally restarting the game. That's why I'm not getting any immigrants right now. But right now we're making another army of pure Yankee soldiers so that we can go all the way down here to Africa and take Wari Benin just because we can. That's actually a lot of population right here. That'd be very nice to take. It shouldn't be too bad. Do we have our war justification yet? We do not, which is a good thing. We were caught last time, so we don't have to even worry about infamy. Let's let time go on a little bit more. What is costing us so much? What is costing me so much? Education, maybe? Definitely not the bureaucrats. Soldiers, no. Hmm. I guess it is this? Oh, Bremen defaults. Better pay your vets. Also, I was just joking yesterday. Um, how do I switch out of the Democratic Party? Just have a civil war and all the Democratic Party members will join the South, so we might be able to do that. Okay, education's really costing me a whole lot here. Hmm. I don't like that. Mm, go even a little lower, maybe? I don't even have industrial subsidies. Why must you cost me so much? Why? Hmm. And we're going to need... I, I'm sorry, i got to do it like this. I would love to have spend more money on education. But it's... Everything's costing me so much. Holy cow. I, uh, Democratic Party, I know you don't want to get taxed that much. But the poor people need to get taxed. Yeah, it's just, this is seriously not good. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. I, I made it even worse. Wow. Yeah, I would love to have more education, but maybe switch parties and we could work on something here. Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and go to, ooh, I guess one of your draft would be fine. Voters' ideologies, please become a little bit more liberal. Just a little bit more liberal, please. Budget. The budget is so bad right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing so, I can't do anything. Holy cow. Not even sp spending much social spending. Lower that. Lower that. Lower that. Lower that. If I do this, we lose money, which we don't want to do, because... Well, we're already losing enough money. Argentinian... Th oh! Well, we can go to war. We want to go to war by July, but... I need at least $100,000, or pounds, so I can do the gas and purchase once we do nationalism and imperialism. Session of statements, sediments, Corwin Amendment. Uh, what does this do? <clears throat> Tensions over slavery about to reach a boiling point. By introducing, introducing Senator Thomas Corwin's proposal, or proposed constitutional amendment, we can bar Congress from enacting any constitutional amendments banning or interfering with slavery. This measure is desperate, but so is the situation. Uh, I mean, I guess. I suppose so. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Um, I'm sorry, Colombia, but I'm going to do to you something that's not going to be very nice later on, because I want all of Panama. Not just a canal, not just a hole in the ground, but all of Panama. Good. Wow, I can't believe we already had budget problems early on. What is this? Modern U.S.? So much debt. All right, so let's go place this back up. Because that's ins that was just insane. Like, that didn't make any sense. Any sense whatsoever. Cool. And a couple more things. So, people said, or suggested, that I should only take Baja, California. Well, I want all of California now. Someone also said Chihuahua is the most... Probably the best thing to take from them, just because uh, they have dyes. Oh, they have rebels. Nice. Can't exactly see which rebel group, and they yeah dyes here maybe. Maybe somewhere around. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's in uh, Cohelia. Cohelia. So we want to take that because that's like one of the few locations that actually has dyes here. So oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the only army we're going to take to go down to Africa and beat them up. <sighs> Love it. All right, let's go and spend the crud out of our money. We probably don't need that many ships. That's going to cost us quite a bit, probably. But oh, I don't know. Maybe we, ha we maybe we were in the middle of a recession. That's why we're losing so much money. But I'm feeling a little better now. Even increase the administ administration efficiency budget stuff. Wow, that is a lot of tax. If you want to read that, go right ahead. We get less loan interest, which is nice. All right, let's see. Don't want to forget about this stuff. We're doing. Uh, let's see, let's look at it like this. Illinois, you're done. Maryland, go need some intellectuals from Illinois. And then, Indiana, oh, you gotta wait. 
Not quite smart enough. Ohio's done, as well as New England. Ohio, New England. Ah, you can put some guys here, why not? Ohio, and New England. North Carolina, Tennessee, Maryland, Mississippi. I'm looking for states that are not down there. There you go. That, that down in the south. Indiana still needs it. New England, there you go. Alright, so we're making money. Whew, that was scaring me for a while. That was not looking good. Peace relations. Oh, who do you have? Wolof? Ah, it's an African state. It's me, Austria. Oh, peace relations. Sardinia Piedmont is above the Netherlands. Good, 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 good. Oh, no draft. Even more immigrant attraction, yes. Actually, no one wants social reforms. No one wants, yeah, political reforms since I just made reforms. Give it one more month. Okay, that's good enough. Get on the boat. We're going to Africa, everyone's favorite place. Is that French? That's French. Cool. And Liberia. So yes, I do want to take all of uh, Mexico. That's pretty much it. So once we do the gas and purchase... Oh, mountain of coal, nice. I'm going to just go to pound town on Mexico and Colombia to take them. But eventually I do want to get as much of Colombia as possible and Venezuela. Puppet them, basically. Uh, I might start with... I won't start with Venezuela, apparently. We are allied with Brazil, so I might start with Ecuador... Maybe what we'll do with Colombia is I'll take Panama and then puppet them immediately. That might be the goal there. There we go. There we go. Let's do it. Establish protectorate. Do we call our allies in? Guatemala won't accept. Brazil will. Actually, most people will. But I want to control the war by myself, and we should do okay by ourselves. There we go. Have a good time. We're going to lose immigrant attraction because they don't like wars for some reason. A bunch of weirdos, I know. Alright, so... We got a couple armies here. For Lynchburg. Philadelphia. Yankee Concord. Yankee. Can I make any other Yankee soldiers? Dixie. Yankee. Yankee. There's a lot of Dixie. Yankee. I think these are all Dixie soldiers. Cool. So you guys could come right there. Do we have another army as well? We got one. Ah, Port, oh, Port of Prince. That's okay. This is San Domingo. They're. Dixie Soldiers, Afro Latino, so that's okay. Gold Rush, nice, San Diego. I've been there once, sort of. Yeah. I don't remember very much about it, but that's okay. You guys are probably starving for supplies, but whatever. 89%, let's see what happens. 89 goes down to. 89%. Ooh. Army Christian goes down, nice. And we got plenty of money right now. So, decisions. The only thing we need for the gas and purchase is at being at peace, and have nationalism and imperialism. Ah, uh, I love America. Keep focusing on that education efficiency. Nice. So who oh, so else? Oyo. Aro. Benin. Oyo. Well, looks like we gotta make a naval invasion, or... Well, I guess technically it is. Oh. Or, or not. Or not. Nice, just come on back home then. Cool. Ah. Uh, American Benin. What could you want more? Nice. And we got all that population. They can even build an army to help defend themselves. Eja? Cool. We'll get some Eja. Beginning of the Black Gold. First oil well built. Nice. In the province of Erie, which I think is in... was it? Ohio? New York? Something like that. Come on back down to Norfolk. Good, good, good. And then we'll start building up a lot of irregular Dixie soldiers and transporting them to Haiti. Conservative arguments. Oh, ooh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, if we get 5% more, we get 39%. That's still not enough, so we want to take the prestige. That's fine with me. And are you on the boat? Oh, you're already on the boat. Sailing back home. Our nutrition, population growth. Uh, beautiful. Less than 1,000, but that'll come up sooner and sooner and sooner. Look at that. Mm, yes, Russians. Oh, Ru All right, Russia. We might want to... I, th I hear you have an ice box. Wow, that looks really bad. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. We gotta make a lot of money now. Nice. And you know what? We got rid of some of these transports. That's okay. Some of these ships aren't even worth keeping. 31%. Maybe it goes up a little higher. Ah, 56. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Ah, yes. Belly of the King's coming. Ooh. What else can we do here? Niger Company. The Gaston Purchase. 
We got 100,000 us to say that's where the Valley of Kings, Egypt, is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the government for a monopoly to carry out excavations in the King Valley of the Kings, we can ensure that these and we make these fantastic discoveries rather than other great powers. Yes, and Egypt says, yes, excellent, awesome. Commodore Perry's expedition, the Far East, remains an enigma, and one which is beyond the reach of most Western powers due to the enforced seclusion of China and Japan. While China is largely spoken for, Japan remains a potential target for American influence to expand. If we are to be taken seriously as a world power, we must consider sending a force to negotiate for trading rights with the Japanese, under the threat of military force if necessary. Kirofine. So, Commodore Perry's return from his mission to Japan with unfortunate news. They've chosen to defy his ultimatum and thus their collective noses at our government. Should we back down now, or it'll be a great blow to our prestige and influence in the Far East? The American War Ministry in D.C. estimates if we blockade at least a third of Tokugawa's provinces, have at least 5% of Tokugawa population tired of war, and take at least one of their cities, or ultimately have a third of their population tired of the war, we can take a decision to force them to negotiate King Table. Oh crap, I didn't realize I'd go to war immediately. Pacifism? Oh, screw that. We're gonna, we're gonna war. And, we'll, oh, we'll do this before we get out of war. But yeah, some purchase. Oh, no, no, I did a bad thing. No. Oh, well. We'll have to wait just a little bit longer to do that with Mexico. Yeah, do that since we have a time right now. I can't imagine the Japanese are too advanced right now. I mean, give it a little bit of time. I mean, this army is done, so. Well, looks like we got to go back this way. Hmm, you can probably do that. You know, I should probably do that. Probably do that. Save a little bit of my money. Oh, and we'll do this. Nice. Military plans. Eh, we'll probably do one military plan. Ooh, I need that too. But let's go ahead and do the army decision making. Let's do that one. Give us one more month and we're heading over to Japan. Uh, Manassas, probably both of you. Thank you. Nice. Not bad. And can we put any more Yankees? Yes. Carson City. Oh, nice. Another artillery piece. We don't have any engineers yet. Dixie, 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 Dixie. So many Dixies. Give me one more month, and then we'll send these guys over. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to send you... Ooh. Mm -hmm. I should have been more prepared for this one. That's my fault. I'm going to build up the ports around here. Mm, I need Washington. Oh, and I do have this. Uh, we'll put some bureaucrats there for now. That's fine. I want these guys to heal up before they move over. That's enough healing. Let's go on down to... Sun... Sonoma. Cool. Carson City, you got a couple of Dixies there, Yankees. Las Vegas. Vegas expensive. Making some money, not bad. Not bad. Now how long is it gonna take for my navy to get all the way over there? Maybe it was a bad idea to do that. Oh my gosh, we have Jacobin Ruffles too. Are you kidding me? Uh fine, fine, fine. We can have universal voting. Everyone gets a vote can can go vote if they really want to. You guys take them out. You already have maxed out supplies, so. And since we're waiting for the boats to get over there. Cool. Oh, and they're they're just dying. Or just leaving because I already gave them what they wanted. So be it. Alright, Navy, where are you at? Oh, they're almost up there. Good. Get a little more strength there. That's good. Nice. And now they have to wait, which is okay, because these guys need a lot more strength. <clears throat> Traveling all around South America is expensive, man. And I do have a cup of American coffee here, but unfortunately we have Uncle Tom's Cabin. Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, first published in 1852, is one of the most widely read anti-slavery novels ever written. So large was the perceived impact on the growing con national consciousness over the issue of slavery that Abraham Lincoln, upon meeting Stowe at the start of the Civil War, is reported as greeting her, so this is a little lady who made this big war. The publication of Uncle Tom's Cabin has increased national consciousness over the issue of slavery. Secession of statements. Oh, come on. You know you don't want to leave. You know you love the Union. And I can't do anything about these guys. Mm. Oh boy, this is, this is a really bad idea for me going to do that thing already. Oh, rebel scum, yes. Hopefully this will be enough of an army. I might need more. 18. So we still need two artillery. Any more Dixie? Or Yankee anarcho-liberals. We created anarcho-liberals. If you want to read that, go right ahead. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice. Evansville, Fort Wayne. I need another infantry. From Dayton. 
Nice. What is that? CQ? Annex? Oh, negotiated unequal treaty. That's good. That's nice. Are they over there yet? They're taking their sweet time. Gurkhas, Ascaris, Terralurs, my loyal subjects, you best serve at home. Yeah, a fantastic idea that we should spare no effort in implementing. Yes. Alright, so these ships look should be looking pretty darn awesome. The frigate, what do you need? 20%? Yeah, they're not going to make it. Some of these couple transports probably not going to make it either. Hmm. So 33%. Can we get any higher? We need to leave soon. 36? Good God. Spend more on that money. Spend more. We're already halfway there. We might as well wait real quick. And you get just a little bit more strength before we go to Hawaii. Colonial disturbance. Me worry? No. 97%. Nice, that's better. Let's go ahead and do this. Get in the boat. We're not going to blockade them. Oh god, how am I going to get all the way over there without losing the ships? Well, let's we'll see what happens. I should probably get more supply range. Hmm. Nice. Get the EP them all. Actually... They're calling in this war. No, they don't want to join. But France? Oh, we're not even allied with them. Well, hopefully the guys make it. We're going to get attacked by a lot of Japanese guys. Nice. Alright, so I got a lot of guys here. But I need to land, so. As soon as we land and they attack us, we should probably be okay. They don't have any artillery, which is good. Nice. If I had to sacrifice this navy, so be it. And boom, Edu colonial education policy. Uh, I believe resources could be bent better elsewhere. Else. Yeah, let's do that one. Why not? Let's see what happens over here. Oh, they're gonna attack me. Maybe no. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Winfield Scott, you're good on the attack. Let's do it. Just go and attack them. Thousands are dying. Oh, now we're losing. We're losing about a thousand, but they're losing a few thousand every day. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that sucks. We lost that. Actually, what is this? Treaty of... Oh, maybe we got it. With enough pressure placed on the Japanese, they will be forced to the negotiating table. A treaty can be hammered out at Kanagawa, which will see Japan opened to outside trading influence and our superiority proven beyond the shadow of a doubt. I lost a battle, but we have won the war. The Japanese have surrendered. Isn't that amazing? You lose the, the first and last battle... But you win the war. We finally concluded a treaty with the Japanese, which will see our influence restored and our demands for their ports to be open to our ships to be met. Additionally, an, an indemnity will be placed upon the government to make up for the expense of the American war effort. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it when it happens like this. I lost the war, but we still win. Partially westernized, permanent alliance, no... All you have to do is kill off enough of them and they'll, they'll want peace. Oh, look at that. Ah, yes. Texas is obviously a free state. Thank you. Gas and purchase next, please. Thank you. So, if you want to read this, go right ahead. It's it's only called because... It's called the Gas and Purchase because of James Gadsden, who was the ambassador to basically Mexico. So, basically, the Mexican government agrees to a compromise. The Mexican government agreed to sell only Tucson and Animas the minimum necessary to build the transcontinental railway. Additionally, the deal will, be, will settle the native reparation questions and the monetary claims between the countries related to the Gary project. If we don't take this offer, we won't have another one to buy this land. Uh, mm, this will not, this will not work out, so no deal. Uh, you know what, we might as well take it. And I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, <clears throat> the native status. Do what is necessary, the American frontier. We need, oh, after 1865. Cool. Now America is looking more whole, and I love America so much that uh, I'm going to go ahead and decrease my relations with you, Mexico, and I'm going to teach you a lesson. How dare you reject my better offer? And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and lower my supplies for the army. The navy, I'm going to keep it high so the ships are okay. Nice. Not bad. Hope I sent Did I just send these guys to the right place? God, I hope so. No, I, didn't I didn't send them yet because they were still moving. Cool. Come on to California. Ah. <sighs> America always getting into wars every yeah, five, ten, five to ten years. Look at all those immigrants. Yes, yes. 
Oh, look at that. Who's this? Costa Rica? Uh, we're okay for now. Very nice. Ah, oh, gotta love this American coffee. It tastes like freedom and liberty. So we got that army tech done, but... I mean, honestly, didn't really matter too much since we ended the war. And we, we lost the battle. We lost the battle, and we still won. Oh, I love America. All right, we can still make... I'm probably going to honestly need a little bit more Yankee uh, soldiers for now, just because we might go to war with Mexico soon, and fighting them with a minimal army isn't always great. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, uh, elections. Cool. Cool, cool. Build that other one up and start building up some uh, Dixie soldiers. Honduras. Honduras. You remind me of old, old world blues. Ah, uh, sure. You know what? For now, yes. Why not? I don't know why. My feelings come and go for this. We're going to actually go ahead and build up forts down here just because I want people to waste time like trying to siege you down and taking lots of hits. Ooh, I did that. Or attrition. Attrition. That's the word I'm looking for. Attrition. Uh, Texas. Why did you do that? Rebellion in our ally. The Hawaiian government has been toppled and the rebels blame American influence as one of the primary causes of the old regime's corruption. We have lost our influence in Hawaii as a result. And the only question remains is whether we wish to press our claim by force. Um. Hello? Whoa! Look at these guys. They're looking pretty darn weak. If that's the case, we spend a little bit more money and we're gonna lower this by. Oh, like that. Right, probably. There we go. Nice. Okay, not bad. We will go to war with these guys soon enough as we continue to decrease our relations with the Mexicans. Now, we, we like the Mexicans. The military scores 18, mine is a little higher. Olive Oregon. Oh, here's his. 54 or 40 are fight. So, as American and British settlers begin to move to the west coast of North America, there's been a growing dispute as to who owns Oregon country. The entire region west of the Rockies, called Columbia by the British, has been explored by both countries, and there are legitimate claims on either side. British claims stretch all the way south to the 42nd parallel, while American claims reach north to the 54th parallel. But the British claim that they are willing to compromise and have been pushing for an established border among the Columbia River, which they believe would be a fair solution and help both nations avoid another costly war. Hey, look, man, I, I lose battles, I win wars. It's clearly a tense situation, and the specter of war with the British looms as politicians in the current election campaign are banging the drums of manifest destiny in order to gain support. Now, someone brought this up in yesterday's video, where I can go to war and I get, and I get cores on British Columbia. I can't afford that right now. I want to beat up the Mexicans again. Um, I can't beat the, the British. They're, they're rank number one. So, all of Oregon belongs to us. We immediately go to war. Uh, helps us avoid a war, so we get open further negotiations up. We'll gain all as a core. Uh, the border along the Columbia River helped us avoid a war. Uh, at the border? Hmm. Support jingoism. Oregon Treaty. The British have agreed to compromise splitting the Oregon County, or country, between us at the 49th parallel. Any British lands held by us will be turned over to them, and vice versa. Though some Americans are upset, many others are breathing a sigh of relief. Ah, oh, prestige, nice. I love the British sometimes. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, we've oh we have a port up here. Oh, okay, so this one of those things. Fort Nisqually has a naval port. Nice. What? We can't make it a slave state? Are you kidding me, man? Come on. Fort Vancouver. Ever since we acquired Washington, Fort Vancouver has lost its importance and was overshadowed by other settlements in the area. Of these, one called Seattle seems to be the one gathering mo more momentum, and several politicians have suggested we make this settlement the new capital of the region. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, son. Oh, they have no military scores, so just send them over up by the boats. I'm gonna do this before we do anything else. Good. Mexico. I'm sorry, but not really. Hello, Hawaii. Cut down to size. I'm just gonna add you to my sphere. The government toppled them. Well, too bad I have a bigger government than you. I thought we were supposed to be, you know, free trade and all that. Free America. Oh well, whatever. Um, morality, war, yeah, whatever. That's rubbish. Uh, you know, I prefer plant economy over laissez-faire right now, so. You guys looking pretty good. Artillery. Nice. Democratic Party won with less support over time, which is not bad, not bad. Do we still need a horse? We might. Ooh, nice. More better men life rating. Did we take him out? Yep. Nope. Give us a little bit more time.
Cool. UK, Prussia, Sardinia, Piedmont. Oh, what, Russia? Wait, did you break our... Son, why'd you break our alliance? Son, come on. What the heck? No, I, I just want to see... This? From alliance? No, okay. People break and make alliances all the time, man. They have no loyalty. Alright. Uh, just in case, I'm going to decrease it one more time. I don't want to justify them and then have my justification reject... Oh, rejected. Because, uh, we have two high relations. Good, we get one of them. We're going to need... Afro... Oh, Afro-American Antillian artillery. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to make that there, then. Do we have any Yanks? No bloody Yanks. No carpetbaggers there. I really need to spend time being at peace. Because uh, my infamy not looking great. But Hawaii, Japan... <sighs> they take so much out of me. So much. Now, are they trying to build an army up? Hey, look. Montane grasslands. Cool, yes. Sure, why not? Ah, oh, Moral Crusaders, one of the impacts of the religious revival in the USA in the early 19th century would be sustained campaigns against perceived vices by those who believed they were doing God's work by attempting to stamp out such behavior. Saloons were often a favorite target of such crusaders, and on occasion, saloons and their patrons would be physically attacked by zealots. Ha, ah, yes, I love violence. Nice. Ah, yes, give me those immigrants. You better stay with us, whether you like it or not. Actually, when can I annex them? Niger Company, Frontier, Iron Range. Advanced ore smelting processes. Oh my goodness. I have to get that advanced ore smelting processes. Guantanamo Bay lease. Ooh. Oh, and you have good relations with them. Oh, right, there, here it is. It has to be after 1898. Okay. And it have revolution and counter-revolution. This one I don't think we'll be able to do. I would love to get Cuba, but uh, which we can get it as a core, but meh. Whatever. If that's the case, I might just start increasing relations with these guys first. You never know. The Cubans might actually rebel against Spanish rule eventually. You never know what HPM might do. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, hold on. We're going to lower our infamy just a little bit, please. Just, 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 just a little bit. I can make him my puppet, but I think no. Los Altos. I'm sorry, man. I'd love to have you as an ally right now, but can't quite do that. So we're going to spend just a little bit of time first. The Whigs are now gone. Oh, wait. Do we have the Republicans here? Oh, the, we have the Radical Party, the Narco Liberal Party. It's 1854, so yeah, we do have Republicans who, who have uh, pro military, paternalistic, full citizenship, pluralism, interventionism, which is. Well, it's better than laissez I fair. It's not great. Hmm. That's okay, though. That's okay. What do they need? Luxury clothes and small arms. Luxury clothes. Why do we need clothes? No, thank you. This is going to bankrupt me. Nah, I probably won't, but it's gonna hurt me for a little bit. Let's get some clothes. With the finest southern cotton available. Uh, definitely Indiana, because Kentucky uh, it might stay in the Union, it might not. Illinois would be important. Pennsylvania, we did colonial crisis. Oh my, it's almost tea time. Just in case you can do that there, too. Costs a lot of money to do that, man. Tons of money. Wow. We have a. Did only one ship make it? Uh, mm, that that's this is a really really Franco-Prussian war. Um, I'm gonna have to say no. I I only lost three prestige. Who cares then? Sorry, France, but uh, I would. You must have really pissed off the Germans then. Uh, would you like an alliance, Germany? <laughs> um, yeah, that's not good for you. So really, after the Civil War, that's the biggest thing I'm waiting for. After the Civil War, I'm gonna go crazy because really our military can't support it and. I really don't want to use Dixie soldiers until I know that they're beaten. So let's increase increase relations with these guys, and then maybe Mexico we could have a little fun time. Oh, Austria Hungary's here too. Uh oh, Jacobin rebels in Russia. That I, I, that's, that's early. That's early Germany. Just give us one more month. I'm still buying more clothes up, anyways, and they'll start justifying. 
Underground Railroads. The Underground Railroad was an informal network run by abolitionists of varying creeds and colors, dedicated to helping slaves escape from southern slave states to the freedom of the North. We have every reason to believe that these states, or few states, recently developed into a hotbed of railroad activity. We can put some pressure on local politicians to combat their activities, but only at the risk of stirring up abolitionist settlements in the North. Leave it be, shut it down. Arkansas gets more consciousness and more, becomes more liberal. Huh. Or this one, Underground Railroad shut down. Oh, we're going to support it. We're going to be like, mm, mm, mm. No slaves here. All right, so this is going to be, probably be bad. It's 11. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, 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 please. No! I'll see you in right a bit. In a little bit. All right, my friends. Sorry about that. Um, I know you guys don't like it when I save scum, but it is what it is. It's currently November 20th, 1854. I left you in around October 13th. It is what it is. And the Franco-Prussian War still spawned. Actually... The Germans asked me to be in their alliance, and I said yes, but they want me to go to war with them, and I'm like, nah, I'll still ally you, though. I mean, you're second in the world, just after the UK? Oh, heck yeah, man. But right now, we are justifying on the Mexicans, and we're 85% of the way there, in which I will go ahead and take uh, probably this region, just to make Texas look a little better. Because you know I love the look of Texas, which is kind of hard to see. There it is, beautiful Texas. I'm going to take this, just because it makes it a little uglier. I could take Sonora, but... I don't know. This isn't Old World Blue, so I don't need to take Baja, California immediately. Oh my god, Brazil, what are you doing? Ugh, Paraguay, you can't deal with, deal with this by yourself. Like, they have literally no military. And these guys have eight guys. Yeah, fine. Fine, I'll join. Fine. Cool. Uh, education. We're going to be at war soon, so I'm actually going to grab an engineer. For now, we're trying to build up our army still some more. And then, then we'll make some Dixie soldiers. Dixie soldiers. Some leadership, that's good. Uh, I actually, how, how strong is Mexico? 16, that's not bad. But if we're continuing with our military technologies, we should be okay here. So, and of course, we don't get you know, as many immigrants. But you know, whatever. We'll get we'll get a lot of immigrants where we're going soon enough. So when you go to war by like December, so that'll be good. I want to get this army accomplished, done a little bit f more first. Let's see, we need two. Infantry guys, which Cape Haitian, Syracuse, what do they need? Small arms and Grand Junctions. Small arms. Trade. Small arms. Not big arms, but small arms. It's going to hurt our budget, but whatever. It's worth it. Uh, West Virginia, we're going to build you up too. I don't know if they're going to rebel. They might. They have a chance to rebel against us. But uh, it's best to be safe. I, I doubt you'll need that, but. Uh, ten Tennessee. Why? Why? Oh, Arkansas. Oh, they don't have any slaves, and they... Oh. It's mostly Dixie. They do got some African Americans free staters. During the most intense days of slavery debate, some abolitionists organized emigration to the territories of Kansas and Nebraska in order to prevent these territories from being admitted into the Union as slave states. The theory of popular sovereignty that held that a democratic vote in the state would decide on whether the state should be constituted as a slave state or free state. These abolitionists were called free staters, and some of them have now turned up in a few states. Let them settle and act an ordinance to stop them. Oh, I could piss people off. Um, I mean, just just rebel already, CSA. Well, don't do that yet. Let's kill off enemies first. December. El Salvador. Um, I hear you got a lot of gangs down there. I mean, we're okay for now. Sorry, guys. Sorry. It is what it is. I have nothing against you. It's just... I need these guys to be finished soon. Uh, you know what? We could probably go to war now. Let's go ahead and raise this up a little bit more. And give me another month. I want to lower that infamy just a little bit more. Yeah, I know. Safe scumming sucks. Give me one more month. The Conservative Party rock, rock by scandal. Well, if you could get rid of the Conservative Party here, we could actually might do something. We might be able to do something with our, you know, economy. Maybe. That'd be great fun. Great, great fun. Also, I'm building up another infantry division down here, too. And maybe building forts. Maybe. Also, ship-wise, we didn't lose all our ships. <laughs> we lost a lot of them, though. Oh baby, what what do they need? Hmm, what supplies do these things need? I don't know. Build navies, steam frigate. Oh, troop ship. Well, faster. Well, build some of them up. Those are always nice and good to have. So, and oh wait, you guys are still here? I forgot about you guys. Yeah, you guys coming down to Texas? 
I need one more infantry. I'm going to pull it off of this guy, because at least these guys are done. Give me one more if you got it. Yankee, good. Nice. And send you down to Texas. And then we'll put them together, and then we'll go to war with Mexico. Oh, secession statement, Santa Fe. New Mexico! Son! No. Oh, that's because... Look at all... Well, that one has a lot of Dixie percentage, but there are really not too many people down there. Yankee, lots of Mexicans down here, some Afro-Latino, or, yeah, Afro-Latino. Arizona, I love Arizona, never been. Well, at least not yet. Some Irish there, Native American miners, some Yankees, some Dixie. There's quite a few Dixie soldiers down here, too, or Dixie Pops. Wow, that's really hurting my budget. National stockpile purchases. Oof. Oof. Awesome. Let's continue increasing relations with the Spanish. austria hungary is here, just so that we can maybe get Cuba. It's 1855, Germany. What are you doing here? What the heck? Your, <laughs> your only alliance is with me. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, that is... Oh boy, oh, you even have Poland out here. Oh, are you... You're allied with the Austro-Hungarians and the UK. Oh my god. Oh, buddy boy. Mm -hmm. That is peculiar. That is mighty interesting. Uh, oh wait, is that all they wanted? Humil- Sure. Because why not? Why not? Ah, oh, good. Nice. Could do that. It's time for more industry, probably. Noticism, railroads. Eh, let's get some more of that. That's pretty good. Alright, so what are we buying right now? Or actually, let's look at this stuff. So, right now, we're probably buying some more small arms. So, we could probably say, go ahead and automate that. Yep, that helped us out. As well as what else? Clothes? Oh. Uh, those are probably pretty darn expensive. Go ahead and automate that as well. That should be good enough. We got enough money to go to war. or You know, we got enough stuff. Let's go to war. Oh, and we want this one. We call in other states or nations to help us out. Guatemala won't accept. Honduras, Brazil, Venezuela, Germany. Um, I really can't take extra states in this war because I don't have the infamy for it. So... Nah, we'll, we'll be fine by ourselves. We'll be fine. Sorry, Mexico. Nothing personal, like really legit, like I have nothing personal against you, but you exist. And that's your crime. Hey, hey look. Can I get to there? I probably won't be. Oh, I can get there. Oh, nice. Awesome. I had to do a war with Mexico before we ended this uh, video, so. Do that. Good. Now we're going to build up a bunch of Dixie soldiers. And they're going to be Irregulars, which has half the attack, almost half the defense. Same discipline, maneuver, speed, so. Uh, we don't want that Yankee there. Those god dang Yanks. Just because I'm, it's going to be completely gamey when I do this. Arizona. No, don't join the... Ugh, Arizona. I know there's not that many people that live there, but come on, man. Not bad. Cool. Uh, where are you headed to? Yeah, come up there. Nice. We should be able to cut him off. Uh, the second American-Mexican War. We need to beat him up enough that so we can just take their one state. That's going to be a while before we can do that, though. Cool. Conquest of Congress Poland. I'm surprised Germany's not in this. The Taiping Rebellion. Yeah, whatever. Good. Oh, uh, you'll be there on the 16th? We'll be there on the... Okay, good. Nice. Good. We're definitely going to need a bigger navy where we're going. Are we building any ships? We kind of are, but... Colonial corruption, lose prestige. Whatever. And we also have Hawaii as a puppet still, so that's good. Increase relations with them. Where are the Spanish... I would like that little thing of Cuba. Oh, who do you have under who are you? Ah, two Sicilies, that's cool. <sighs> God dang it, Germany. God dang it. That's just I I don't know what to say. I, I can't even do that. Forming the German Empire this early? 
Uh, I'll be honest here, I'm specifically a, like not playing Germany because eh, Germany's always played, but more importantly, I'm saving them for last. Like once I'm done playing a bunch of Victoria 2, I want to save them for last because I want to be like Mega Germany, like Ultimate Germany, like the final Pokemon Evolution Germany. Oh uh, yeah, you guys do that. Can I go to peace with them? Yeah, I doubt it. No, we're not even that far into the war yet. Just take everything they got. We're gonna stop. Vitarion. Nice. I do want to get out of the war as fast as possible so we can go to war again later on. Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. I've been to Kentucky many times. Well, not many times, several times. It has definitely a different culture in general than uh, the Midwest. Kentucky. I'm thinking, oh, they have, they have rebels. Reactionaries, that's fine. Just take Mexico City. But, uh, do people call themselves from Kentucky like Kentuckians? Kentuckyites? I don't know. Like, New York is New Yorkers, Californians are Californians. Florida is known as the land of old people and retirement homes. But, uh, let's get some inorganic chemistry. Yeah, that helps us with population growth. That'd be nice. Oh, I'm joining with my cat Binky. Hey, Bink, you okay? No wonder my door's open. You opened my door. Oh, that's okay. Let's see, you guys do that. Are we there yet? Oh, yep, yeah, we are. Nice. Go and end the war. <laughs> Should we extend slavery? Uh, I'm thinking, nah, we good. Binky. Cool. And Taxus has got a little bit of a southern growth, growth spurt. But, my friends, that is where we're going to leave it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, because... In tomorrow's episode, we're probably going to have to deal with a couple rebels. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we make America great and greater. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.